Good day everyone, I am Charles J and today I will be discussing the chapter 14 of the module which is all about the enterprise resource planning. So I think all of us are familiar with this topic because we have a subject of this which is the PRE6. But anyways, let's dive into the topic. So as we all know, an ERP system is a software architecture facilitating the flow of information among different functions of an organization. Then, as uh, a gitawag og enterprise modeling, which is considered the most important prerequisite before the selection or implementation of an ERP system. Now, why is it considered the most important? Because it encompasses complete understanding and detailed mapping of the firm's business and decision making process, both independently and in interactively so bali this will serve as the guide through the selection process of an erp system now let's talk about the role of common or shared enterprise database so di ba kaya ba man tanga ang erp system is supported by a central database which is called the enterprise database now, it works as the heart of the enterprise's mo model in which the information is stored, updated, retrieved, and managed in this position. Then, it draws data and feeds data into various enterprise applications that supports different functions. And additionally, by using a central database, no, it reduces the information time lag or the speed, the transfer, the transfer of information from one department to another reduce distortion of information instant updating enhance reliability and streamline flow of information next is the selection of an erp system now so in selecting an appropriate erp package involves careful evaluation of the existing ERP alternatives and the needs or profile of the enterprise. So, natay gitawag ng POC or the Proof of Concept Approach which is a comprehensive and real-time selection approach for ERP solution. In this approach, the organization is provided with ERP software for a few months bali trial siya na magamit sa organization to test out if this ERP system will fit to their organization. So there are four stages that must be followed when using the POC approach. First is the preparation of project and constitution of ERP team. Second is the analysis of key business requirements. The third is the selection as a system. Then the last is the team agreement on the product to prototype. So here is the figure of the application of the POC approach. As we can see, there are four elements no, that will help through the successful of implementing an, a POC approach. So the implementation of this approach is supported by the vendor. First, the vendor who should be willing to extend the facilities. Then, the consultants. If hired, will advise the regarding efforts needed for the change. Next is the help from somebody who has hands-on experience on previous implementation is also very helpful. And the role of the taking force is to coordinate and organize the business and make an in-depth deliberation on various issues then the next aspect um, would be the linking approach to reality for this no money ang linking approach to reality now for this some pre-planning is needed no some pre-planning is needed to start with the enterprise should prepare the present scenario in the minutes of detail. So, ang, ang kanang 
present scenario mo ani gitawag og as is no mapping enterprise mo ni siya then the next step is to visualize the scenario which um may emerge after the implementation so this is called the to be mapping enterprise now the POC is applied to map the process of the enterprise of the software. The objective would be how to transform this wait, this as is situation into the to be situation. At this level, so the help of this kanisila kaning opat nga elements will be crucial. No, for the successful um, transformation from here as is to to be mapping enterprise. Now let us proceed to the material requirements planning. So the, in the early 1960s, Joseph Arlicky of the GI Case Company devised a new approach to material management called the Material Requirement Planning or MRP. So, MRP is a proactive material strategy which looks into the future and identifies the materials that we need, their quantities, and the dates on which they will be needed. So, there are four categories in this approach. First is the Production Scheduling System. Second is the Material Requirements Planning System. Third is the Capacity Requirements Planning System. And the fourth is the orderly system. Now let's talk about first the production scheduling system. So this uses for data files in preparing the master production schedule. The input data include the customer order file, the sales forecast file, the finished goods inventory file, and the production capacity file. So the master production schedule projects projects the production far enough into the future to accommodate the production process that accounts for the longest combination of suppliers lead time and production time. The production schedules can look more than a year into the future. Second is the material requirements planning system. So it determines how much material will be needed to produce the desired numbers of units. The bill of material file is used to explode the bill of material for each item scheduled for production by multiplying the quantities on the bill on the material times the number of units to be produced. So the purpose of this explosion is to determine the total material requirements called the gross requirements that will be needed to produce the scheduled products. Then, the raw materials inventory file is used to determine which the materials are already in hand. And, the materials on hand are subtracted from the gross requirement to identify the requirements. Then, lastly, the items that must be purchased, purchased in order to meet the production schedule. So, the third one is the capacity requirements planning. So, in this, the material requirement planning system works in conjunction with the capacity um, requirements planning system to ensure that the scheduled production will fit within the plant capacity. And after that, the, third, the determination has been made. The material process requirements planning system produces several outputs. And lastly, the main output is the planned order schedule, so kung moto ang giplano first hand, which lists the needed quantities for each material by the time period. The fourth one is the order release system. So the order release system uses the planned order schedule for input and prints out an order release report. So in this mauna ni ang process, last process nga mag print out sa mga order release reports or mga resets sa mga gipang order sa mga customer. So one copy is sent to buyers in the purchasing department for use in negotiation with suppliers and the other copy is sent to the shop floor managers for use in controlling the production process 
or the inventory management. So that's all, ma'am. Thank you.